Thank you for tuning in. Like, subscribe, and share. Just wanted to give my uh, commentary on the movie Judas and the Black Messiah. And the co-writer of the Judas and the Black Messiah. And it was an article. Because many of you know, many of you are praising the film. And it may be exciting. It may be great. But if we're going to tell the story of our great individuals, that story should be told entirely and funded entirely, 100% by so-called African Americans or the people who are related to the story. There shouldn't be any outsider telling the story, no matter if their parents participated in it or not. They can give their point of view, but they can't tell the story of so-called black people. That's like so-called black people writing the story for the Jewish Holocaust. They will never, ever allow you as so-called black writers, screen directors, to write the story of their of the Jews. So we must stop writing these insinu insinuous and inciting movies, it's particularly in this particular time. These movies are to incite, uh, to cause division when they're preaching more inclusion, but these movies cause so-called black people to divide themselves and it causes you to hate more and more and more hate. They are playing a psychological game with you. Hollywood and the powers that be all work in conjunction to keep your mind preoccupied with BS. Stop allowing yourself to be manipulated with these movies, this music. If you're going to watch it, you cannot internalize it. It's only fiction. It's not fact. If you know it's fiction, when you leave out of that movie theater or you turn off that song, turn it off. Snap out of it. Come back to reality. What you saw was a movie, a cinematic presentation of what reality was that is not reality that's not even close to reality of Fred Hampton's life so stop 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 falling for their madness or you're going to be ass out and I'm going to read this to you so you'll know who Will Burson is and they're praising Shaka but you don't hear about Will Burson Will Burson is the real screenwriter of the movie he needed Shaka to write his story listen Will Burson have been haunted by the story of the murder of Black Panther's leader, Fred Hampton, by police since his hippie parents told him to, to him as a child. As Will watched events like the Ferguson riots unfold, he realized Fred Hampton's story had to be told. You hear that? He was just motivated by one event. He said his parents were hippies. After writing the script, you hear with that? After writing the script as a spec, he discovered, that means he discovered, writer-director Shaka King. Listen, you hear that? After writing the script as a spec, he went out and sought and discovered 
writer, director Shaka King had been working on the same story. That's a play. Shaka King was a director. But I doubt if he was actually working on the same story. But they threw that in there. So just say if he was working on the same story. But this one, this guy, Burson, what does it say? After writing the script. So he had a complete script. Shaka, he was working on a script. You have to learn how to discern. After writing the script, and Shaka King had been working on the same story, working on something that means it's not complete. After Mean it's finished. You finished. So once again, a story about a so-called African or black, African American or black person, whatever misnomer you want to classify yourself by, still hasn't 100% wrote a movie, directed it, funded it, Without and distributed it without anyone else's input. This is a white man's film. A white man who wrote about a black man. And listen, let me continue. On this episode of Write On, Will Burson. And guest host Sadie Sellers discuss Burson's roots in comedy writing. He's a comedic writer. This is his first foray into dramatic writing. That's why he needs a shaka to pull it off. And like a good Negro, just like the past. Like you said, like there's some people said in some comments I read. Not all Negroes are for the Negroes. So I don't know. Maybe this was an opportunity for him to get some accolades and fame and recognition. For a few dollars. I don't know what his motivation was. He wanted to get into Hollywood. I don't know. Good parties. Could have wrote this story himself without Will Burson. Tell Will Burson, take his story and go write it without my input. We're going to do a 100% so-called black version of Fred Hampton. Life and story. Will Burson's roots in comedy writing and his particular approach to historical drama. Essential truths are more important to me than historical facts. Hmm. He talks about writing strong female characters. (laughs) He wrote the female characters. What is it like to write with multiple collaborators and how to manage a career in Hollywood? My advice would to be would to would be to play the game a little more. You hear what he just said? That's his advice. My advice would be to play the game a little more. So he realized and Shaka King both realized. They have to play the game a little more. Just realize how ridiculous this town is and embrace it. Act like you're in an improv scene and just go with the flow. Hustle and flow. Go with the flow. 
So they did. So I have to question the motivations of such film at, at, at this particular time as well. Uh, the so-called many different movements that's going on. Just stay awake, people. Just stay awake. Don't be fooled by these people. Your educated people are all here to mislead you. Your educated lawyers, your fraternities, Sapa Fafa La, Sufa Lupa Dupa, Keepa Tapa Tapa, Kappa Dapa Lapa, Oaf Sega Faga Booga, whatever those people are. They're all against just regular, ordinary people who did not go to college to get a BS degree that they don't use, but to manipulate you in politics and BS like that. Don't fall victim to their, their madness. All of it's been a setup since about the 17, 1800s. Educated Negroes, cracker Negroes, and cracker white people work together against the common people to keep you in your proper place. And you all falling for it. They keep you, your brain dumbed down with movies sports, drugs, liquor, constant entertainment. You can entertain yourself, but you better not question anything. So, I don't know. I'm going to leave you with that. Peace to the gods.